Okay, let's get to it. I'm excited about this. It is Friday, which means, yes, as usual, it's Friday Live here on Q. And on this particular Friday, maybe I'll begin with a question. Oh, Scandinavia, what do you put in your water? Because, as we all know, the Nordic nations produce excess numbers of exceptionally good-looking people, a quality that is perhaps surpassed only in their ability to pump out exceptionally talented musicians. The punchy power rock of the hives and the helicopters, the zesty, uplifting indie of I'm from Barcelona, the foot-stomping, ethereal bounce of the knife, the heart-dribbling melancholy of kings of convenience, not to mention Aqua, Aha, uh, Abba? That's... Lots of bands that begin with A. Today's Friday Live guest is one of those Nordic wonders. He's the handsome and talented young balladeer named Sandra Lurke. He first made a name for himself with his debut record, Faces Down, released in 2002. It won him a Norwegian Grammy and placed him on Rolling Stone magazine's Top 50 Albums of the Year list. His sophomore record, Two Way Monologue, came out in 2004 and was jammed with cheery swing, swinging pop melodies. And last year was a particularly busy one for Sandra Lurke. He did double time releasing Phantom Punch and doing an entire original soundtrack for the romantic movie comedy Dan in Real Life. But for right now, he's our guest throughout the show in studio Q. hello sir hey man it's good to have you here i'm so thrilled to be here i think you're doing a, a fabulous job i've been watching you <laughs> you like the first two minutes so I, if I, you I, like the first five minutes <laughs> more than anyone could really hope for i think you're partly saying that because you know i'm a huge fan of, of your music i'm thrilled to have you here and and uh, where's it from bergen bergen, bergen norway all the yeah. way from bergen norway uh, you're gonna kick us off with a song what uh, what song are you gonna play for us well, I haven't really made up my mind. Is there anything you want to hear? It uh, now is the time to make up your mind. So yeah, I know I you guess. weren't. You didn't before the show. You said you hadn't. You you just put out this uh, original soundtrack to Dan in, in real life. Yes. This is your your Steve Carell years, that, <laughs> <laughs> last year. Right? Yes. Uh, oh, you want me to pick a song? Yeah, well, maybe I should play a, a Steve Carell song. Well, I, I wrote the song, but I wrote it for <laughs> right. Steve Carell. To be surprised? Yes. All should right. I play that? Do it. All right. I'm not gonna say Did you ever stop to think along the way But baby, be prepared to be surprised You gotta be prepared to be surprised oh, Honey, be prepared to be surprised It's all I know I'm not gonna stay Obvious observations everybody makes But baby, be prepared to be surprised you Gotta be prepared to be surprised oh, Honey, be prepared to be surprised It's all I know The weight of the world and the hurt can make you disturbed but I hurt but I hurt when I wrap my arms around you every mistake we made crumbles when I wrap my arms around you everything echoes a new song I'm not gonna whine Screaming, I'm so tired through a mic. But baby, be prepared to be surprised. You gotta be prepared to be surprised. I gotta be prepared to be surprised. It's all I know. The weight of the world and the hurt and the dirt can make you disturbed, but I hurt, but I hurt. When I wrap my arms around you, every mistake we made crumbles. When I wrap my arms around you, everything echoes a new song. I'm not going 
gonna lie Saying everyone will be all right and fine Until we die But what else can you do but hope and pray and say that We'll get by And be prepared to be surprised Better be prepared to be surprised oh, Honey, be prepared to be surprised You gotta be prepared to be surprised It's all Live in Studio Q, the Norwegian singer-songwriter Wonder. That's Sondra Lurke playing the song uh, To Be Surprised that appears on the Dan in Real Life original soundtrack, the music entirely by Sondra Lurke that uh, came out over the last year. I love that song. I'm so glad you played that. Interestingly, the producer of this film, uh, he was looking for someone to create a soundtrack, he says, uh, like what Cat Stevens did for Har- Harold and Maude and Simon and Garfunkel did for The Graduate. Uh, he's a huge fan of yours, he discovered. And you create this amazing aura through this film uh, with your songs appearing uh, and, and quite a comprehensive soundtrack you've written to this. He says, this is Peter Hedges, uh, says, funny, humble, too young to be uh, so talented, an open channel to all things good. That's Sandra Lurke. I remember having the distinct feeling that this was a man who believed in love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. I had a lot of pressure, obviously, <laughs> to believe in love, or do you do do, do you believe? Well, in love? just to you know, try to come up with something that that worked, I guess. When you st- you know, he he was very yeah. He talked a lot about the graduate and all these really legendary soundtracks, and then of course I was funny and humble and all these wonderful things. <laughs> you know, I had to be a pretty good guy. <laughs> Did you do you approach writing something like this, an original soundtrack, uh, very differently from the way you would one of your studio records? Um, yeah, it was really different and it was really refreshing because when you're a singer songwriter and there's a lot of those around these days, you know, you are, it, you, it's all about expressing yourself and, you know, just being honest and true to yourself and all these wonderful things that get a bit annoying after, uh, after a while. Cause you know, everybody needs to express themselves, but not everybody needs to put out records. And I, <laughs> I and I thought, you know, I'd put out four solo records. I thought it, it was actually refreshing to me to have to ex- try to express something else in my music and not just express what I want, what I feel, and actually try to express what Steve Carell and Juliet Binoche feel, which was pretty uh, pretty cool. So so that, that was a very refreshing change of perspective. And also, like, uh, it... it put my ego on hold for a while which was right. also good you don't have an ego though you're humble and funny. i'm humble yes yeah. and funny and, and <laughs> right. uh, too uh, something and, yeah. and way too young oh yeah and handsome i think uh, uh, did you meet steve carell yeah i was the great great thing about this was that the director peter hedges who brought me on to do this he brought me on really early in the in the stages of the film he was still writing the script and he wanted me to be there for everything so he brought me on for auditions for rehearsals with the actors he wanted wow. me to work with the actors and teach them songs and and there's a scene also in the film where Steve Carell um, and Dan Cook perform a song it's one of the, the really key scenes in the film that uh, Peter brought me in to sort of help you know put together with right. with, uh, with Steve Carell and, and I am a very big Steve Carell fan so that was a very exciting thing to me. Yeah, I guess. So. How, how how was he to work oh, with? Oh, he, he's very sweet. Seems Every, like he'd be a sweet guy. Everybody yeah. says, of yeah. course, he's the nicest guy in Hollywood. I don't know a lot of guys in Hollywood, <laughs> but if 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 they're if they're anything like him, you yeah. know, I, I, I maybe I'll move there. Well, uh, well, maybe maybe where do you live right now? Actually, I live in New York. You live in New York. Yeah. Oh, see, I thought it would be great if you still lived in a small town in Norway. I had to <laughs> break out of that. <laughs> right. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're way too. You've outgrown it, have you? Uh, yeah, I'm not that humble anymore. <laughs> right. Of course no, not. Not anymore. Sandra, look at such a pleasure to have you here. You're going to be playing throughout the show. We'll chat more and we'll do a, a proper uh, conversation later in the show. Thanks Absolutely. for being here. Our Friday live guest, Sandra Lurke, uh, he'll be back with another song soon. His latest album is called Phantom Punch, and Sandra Lurke is live with me in Studio Q.